Hi folks, my name is Marcin and welcome to this presentation of the Shapeshift Evo tray. When you first receive your Shapeshift Evo tray, you will notice it comes unassembled with six of these. This is a slider, that's what we call it. Uh, one of these, which is the tray, of course. Um, a hex key and a small packet of nuts and bolts that you will need to use to assemble your tray. And in this video, I will show you how to do exactly that. So the best method to do this is to grab three screws and put them in the holes in the slider. And once you have that, position the tray sideways and put the slider on so that the bolts fit in the grooves of the tray. Then take a nut, place it on one of the bolts and screw the bolt in with the provided key, supporting the nut with your fingertip so that it doesn't get pushed out. Repeat this process for the remaining fasteners. Once assembled, the nuts will hide in the slots machined on the bottom of the tray, unable to spin around. You will be able to easily tighten and loosen your sliders with just a hex key. It's up to you to decide how many sliders you need on your trays. It all depends on how big the miniatures you want to transport are and how many models you want to have on each tray. For this presentation, two will do just fine. Once you have at least two sliders installed, move one to the edge of the tray and lock it in place by tightening the bolts. Now make a row of miniatures on bases with the same size. Move the second slider over to the models. You will want to pinch the sliders to squeeze the rubber foam slightly against the bases of the minis and then tighten the bolts on the second slider. When you're done, make sure that the minis are secure by gently testing them with your hands. Don't overdo it though, as you might damage the finicky parts of minis. Models that are bolted to shapeshift trays can be held sideways and upside down. You can also make rows with miniatures on differently sized bases and even attach some minis that don't have a base at all. In those cases, however, it's better to use our steel plate attachments. They will allow you to transport magnetized miniatures with the shapeshift system, vastly expanding the utility of both approaches. On the one hand, you won't have to magnetize your entire collection, and on the other you'll be able to carry vehicles, pieces of terrain, and other odd bits and ends which your shapeshift trays couldn't handle otherwise. To use the plates, loosen the fasteners on two sliders so that you're able to lift each slider by about a millimeter or so. Then slide one steel plate underneath the two sliders between the middle and left hand bolts. Then do the same on the right side of the tray. Clamp down the plates by tightening the fasteners, check if the plates don't move and you're done. Now you can put minis with magnets on your tray. But why stop there? If you attach yet another slider to the tray, you'll be able to use both magnets and the shapeshift system on the same tray. The Shapeshift Evo provides tremendous versatility and doesn't require any conversion work on your part. Of course, it fits into our overload bags and trailblazer cases for safe transportation to and from your games. So now that we have our models in the tray, we can open the bag. Choose a free slot. Close it. And we're ready to go to the game. <laughs> 